Hello friends and fellow Vedsies and welcome back to my kitchen. Yep, you guessed right, it is another episode of Dinner Every Day in September. And this week we're actually making something that you could have for a main course for dinner. We are making cashew chicken, but with one little caveat. This is something I really liked making in college, one of my favorite dishes. But recently I've been kind of having in the back of my mind, what if we got rid of the chicken part of cashew chicken and we use some meat substitute instead? So today we are going to be making chickenless cashew chicken. But before we can get started, here's what you're gonna need. Some chicken broth, some cornstarch, some soy sauce, some vanilla, some olive oil, one onion, whatever your chicken substitute is, some garlic, some ginger, and some cashews. I also like to serve this over rice, so I'm actually gonna get the rice cooking on the stove. Along with getting the rice started early, you probably also want to cut up your onion. And if you're using garlic cloves, cut up your garlic cloves as well so they're ready when you need them. And you'll only need a half cup of onions. So I'm guessing they'll probably be one half of this onion. So you probably can get away with just using a quarter onion um, because that's about how much I used. I also do cut my onions frozen because that means I won't cry. However, after doing that, I need to wash my hands because if I accidentally touch my eye, I'll cry. And now it's time to make this sauce with the chicken broth, vanilla, soy sauce, and cornstarch. So three fourths a cup of the chicken broth two tablespoons of the soy sauce, one half teaspoon of your vanilla, and two whole tablespoons of your cornstarch. Simply whisk that all together in a bowl and set it aside. Then go ahead and grab a skillet, put a little bit of olive oil in there. We're gonna preheat that up and then stir fry some of the cashews. Once we have the cashews in there and they're nice and a little bit singed, we're gonna put in our meat substitute and then we're gonna add in the onions, the garlic, the ginger, and then of course the sauce. Make sure that all is cooked up together. And because that spot's a little bit cramped, I'm actually gonna to go to my phone to capture what that looks like and try to do a time lapse for you. You can take out the cashews from the skillet before you add in your meat substitute if you want. If you are going to keep them in, I suggest cooking them for a little bit of a shorter time than you usually would. It's kind of 50-50 for what I choose to do. This time I tried to keep them in so that the meat substitute can kind of get that uh, cashewy flavor since it's probably going to be a little bit less flavorful than the chicken would be. So half a cup of onions, one clove of garlic, although I add a little bit more because I like that garlicky taste, and then one tablespoon of ginger. Try to keep one to two minutes in between the adding of the ingredients to the skillet. Now, of course, since this is a meat substitute, it's gonna cook a lot quicker than the chicken, so just keep that in mind if you do decide to make the original dish. And keep in mind that you'll probably have to re-whisk your sauce before adding it to the skillet. Once your sauce has thickened and everything is cooked, then serve over hot rice. All right, so moment of truth. How does the chickenless cashew chicken taste? It tastes pretty good. So in general, I would say that meat substitutes work best when they're substituting for chicken, because chicken is already so much of a blank canvas. What you're really trying to do is match the texture. And so this honestly tastes the exact same as it does with chicken in it. It's still savory, you still have the really nice cashew flavor. Let's try just a piece of the... Yeah, Josh is good. So my friends and fellow Vedsies, I'm going to finish this because I haven't eaten lunch today and I will see y'all tomorrow. Happy dining.